Royal fans have been left wondering whether the reason Camilla continues to be copying the Queen's dress sense because the Duchess of Cornwall is desperate to become her. During this week's Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey in London, social media users quickly spotted the wife of Prince Charles wore a dress that was exactly the same shade of purple as the Queen's. They flocked to Twitter to share condemnation of the 71-year-old. One commenter said, of all the colors she had to copy the queen and go with purple. Must be dying to be the queen. Another said, disrespectful of Camilla Parker Bowles to wear the same as the queen. The commenter added a red-faced angry emoji at the end of the tweet. At the event, Camilla showed up mere minutes before the queen in a strikingly similar outfit and matching hat. The only difference was that where the queen opted for a stylish brooch, while the duchess wore a pearl necklace. The service saw the Queen release a Commonwealth Day message to people across the globe that marked the 70th anniversary of the London Declaration, when Commonwealth nations moved forward as free and equal members. It was not the only time Camilla mimicked the Queen however. Last November, Camilla had another fashion faux pas when she also wore purple like the Queen to a Remembrance Day event in the capital. Again. The shades of the color were extremely similar as both women stood in the front row of the church to honor the fallen. And in 2013, Camilla donned the same shade of mint green a the queen as the pair made their way to ask it for a date at the races. The mishap was particularly cringeworthy as they rode to the races in the same horse and carriage. Camilla's relationship with her mother-in-law had been strained over the years. Following the death of Princess Diana in 197, the Queen was reported to have called Camilla that wicked woman after learning about her son Charles' infidelity with the royal. Though over recent years the monarch, and the general public, appears to have warmed to her daughter-in-law. This could be due to the Queen taking on less duties to prepare Charles for his role of king. A royal source told the Daily Star Online, the changes are starting, and although they are small changes, more will follow. Her Majesty will never resign, though. She will be on the throne to her last breath. But with the Regency Act and meetings that have taken place recently, when Her Majesty gets to 95 then, the Regency Act 1937, will be brought in through Parliament. This means Prince Charles will become Prince Regent while Her Majesty is still Queen, but her workload scales right back to limited engagements. Buckingham Palace has denied reports the Queen has any plans to abdicate. 